look, asking me to go over this again and again is pointless. Throw me in jail or hell, give me the chair if you need a scapegoat for all this. Everything you need to know, I've already said. Everything I can remember, everything I can understand, I've already told you. And I don't understand all of it. There's a, there's a dark cloud over my mind. A cloud and, and that unknowable horror. Mr. Carter, we're both smart men. You know what's going on here. It's just procedure. Now, I know that you've talked to a few of us already. However, I need to make sure that I know all of your stories. So, just humor me here, okay? Sir, I do not know what has become of Harley Warren. I wish I did. I wish I knew that he was in some sort of peaceful oblivion. If there can be such a thing. And you've known Mr. Warren for how long? Five years. Five years as his closest friend and partial share of his strange researches into the unknown. The witness stated that you walked into the woods together. Mr. Carter? Your, your witness may have seen us on Campadere Road. We were out there walking toward the forest on that awful day. Uh, we, we had some, some sticks and shovels and, and Harley was in such a hurry we left him in the car along with his odd contraptions. Contraptions? As I have said before, the weird studies of Harley Warren were well known to me and to some extent shared by me. He had a vast collection of strange and rare books and on forbidden subjects, some that I didn't even understand. One book, the book Harley carried in his pocket and out of this world, was in characters that I'd never seen. He would never tell me what was in that book, but that night before, he was even more manic than usual. Our studies were, were all of terrible things, dark underworlds. And he was ranting about his theory, why, why certain corpses um, never decay, but rest fat and firm in their tombs for a thousand years. know how crazy it sounds. Maybe I am losing my mind. Mr. Warren asked you to go to the woods with him. Yes. He explained that there was a town out there, uh, a town called Wellsdale. After Pearl Harbor, the army came in, kicked everyone out, flattened the town and built a camp there figuring Japan would attack the West Coast. When the war was over, everything was abandoned. Everyone forgot about Wellsdale. It wasn't even a ghost town, it was, it was like a lost town, overgrown, crawling weeds.
Oh, oh, oh dear God. Oh, quick, shine your light. Steps. To where? I'm sorry to have to ask you to stay on the surface, but for someone with nerves as frail as yours, it, everything that you've read and everything that I've told you doesn't prepare you. You can't imagine what it might be like down there. Harley, I, I want to go with you. I need you to stay here. Here, communicate with me over these. <laughs> I may be to the center of the earth and back. Harley, can, can you hear me? Harley? 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 My God, if you can only see what I'm seeing. Carter, it's terrible, monstrous, unbelievable. What is it? What, what are you seeing? What is it? I can't tell you, Carter. It's too utterly beyond thought. No man can know it and live. I'm coming down. No, Carter. For the love of God, turn around and get out of here. Do as I say and don't ask me to explain. Harley, what's going on down there? It's too late. It's my own fault. There's nothing you or anyone else can do now. Turn around, Harley, and run. I can't. Harley, answer me. Harley, are you there?